grab the grab the first one. Hey, stop playing that Uno. Uh, a Ford. Ford. Uh, uh, Ford. Kevin, a Ford. 
And then how many books would that be? So, now, this one kind of tricked you out, right? Because you went for, or for one fourth, that is equivalent to 25%. Not 25 books. So one fourth is equal to 25%, but not 25 books. Okay? So that one tried to trick you. So that means you take 36 and divide it by two, and you get 18. Okay? So that one was supposed to trick you up just a little bit. Okay? I get why we did that. We saw one fourth, not 25%, not 25 books. I can understand the logic. But just remember that 25% is not always 25 books or 25 desks or 25 chairs or 25 pizzas, okay? It depends on this beautiful number right here, what 25 means. If I said he had 100 books, then 25% would be 25 books. But he has 72, so it can't be 25 books. It can be 25%. Now, biography. Raise your hand and tell me what was our fraction represented by that? Raise your hand and tell me. One eighth. Now, if I had one eighth and I wanted to figure out how many books he had, what could I do? So, we're going to get our calculators in a moment, but what you could do, do 72 divided by 8. Okay? Kevin, what's 1 eighth of 72? Nine. Nine. Remember that one half, half of one half is one fourth. Half of one fourth is one eighth. That's why we did our notes on those fractions yesterday. So, were biography and mystery equal? Yes. yes. So do I have to do any work for this? No. No. I hold up. Here we go. Now, give at least one conclusion based on this information in the circle graph. There are multiple conclusions you can make. Who would like to raise their hand and give me one conclusion they got from reading this circle graph? The book. I was like, I saw some good answers. Zoya? So, Clayton has more fiction than science. That's a perfect time. What's another one we could make? What's another conclusion we could draw? Mystery and biography are the same. Mystery and biography are the same. What about, you could say that he has half as much science as he does fiction. You can say a lot of different things here. Okay, so your conclusion is yours. You read the circle graph, you figure out the information you need from it, and you're good. Okay, I would like you to glue this into your notebook. Right now, please, I'm going to give you Going to give you a minute and a half to have this glued. Have everything inside your desk, please. We're gonna do a walk around. Get a little moving out. Okay, a minute and a half to have this glued. Have everything put inside your desk. Okay, so a clear desk, please. Oh, okay. Get out of your desk, have everything inside your desk, glue this into your notebook. Rough <laughs> 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 
Thank you. You are showing me your ready, but having everything clear on such a Yeah, 
okay? How much something occurs. So you can think about high frequency, meaning that it happens a lot over and over and over and over and over and over again. Like, example, the Chick-fil-A workers always saying my pleasure, they say my pleasure in a high frequency every day, over and over and over and over again. So, this shows the frequency and the spread my pleasure. <laughs> of the data, because you put it back in to demonstrate that. <laughs> Daniel, what else can I use a line graph for? Um, uh, money. Yeah, money. money. How, how would I use it for money? The, see what the price was so that I would use a bar graph for. Now, Kevin, Kevin Cruz, what can I use a line graph for? Thank <laughs> you. 
No, no, you're great. That's great. That's a great description. So let's see. Let me make sure I write this correctly for y'all. Because sometimes Miss Amarano does not.